How you going guys? Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering. Today's job is a little bit different than usual. Today we'll be doing a skin for a 140M cat grader. So a grader blade is used for final trimming roads, for civil and construction, used for grading in a flat surface, ready for roads, paving, stuff like that. Customers brought it in, it had a bit of damage on the corners of the blade. Uh, he did throw a patch over them, but we're going to put a new skin on it today. So first things first, we're going to get this new skin in, measure it up and uh, get it cut to size. Righto guys, so we've received our new skin for our grader, it's a 140M. Uh, we just make up a profile of what we want the, uh, the blade skin to, to be shaped to. We then send it out to the pressing company, they will press the shape that we desire and then they send it back to us. Uh, we do have a bit of work to do to the skin before we can put it on the machine. We've got to cut the green off it and the green is about 100mm material on either side of the bend that they need for when they're pressing it. So we've got to cut that off, we've got to cut it to length. We're going to cut a few plug holes through the centre of the skin to hold it to the blade and um, once we get all that done we'll start fitting it onto the machine. So I've marked out what I need to cut off the plate. Uh, we do end up with a piece on the end here about 500mm long. We're going to split that in half and we're actually going to use that in here on the skin as a bit of extra you know, wear, wear plate on each end of the blade as that is generally the first place they go. Uh, so once we get the skin ripped down to size, we'll cut these in half, we'll get it on the machine and these will be the last things to go on and then we'll do some hard facing after it's been welded out just to try and protect the weld so they don't wear out.
Righto guys, so we've got the machine in the shed. Uh, we've got the, they've got the new skin all cut ready to go. We've got the blade on the grater kicked out to one side. Just makes it a bit easier to work on out here rather than under the machine. We've already ground all the stuff that the customer put on the blade off. It was just two bits of um, old wear plate that he had sitting around at his workshop. So we've got rid of them and that, that actually exposed what the problem was. So if you got a scan down here, she started to bust through. It's just the way they work. It's a hot, high wearing area. Uh, with, with no protection, they, they don't seem to last a great deal of time. This machine has got a lot of hours on it, but um, we're gonna go through and give the blade a new, new skin, give it a new lease on life. The new skin's been cut, it's to size, got everything we need to do with that done. Uh, we're gonna go through now and grind all the top edges where the welds are gonna be. Uh, we'll then probably wire wheel the entire, the entire blade skin, get any debris off and then we'll sit the new skin up there and set it up, tack it in place.
So the welding wire is a Hobart XL525 in a 1.2. Uh, it's a flux core wire, F core, gas assisted. One of the best things for putting down uh, biz onto a standard blade. Seems to stick really well. Haven't had any dramas with it, so it's just something we sort of stick with. We generally run between 26 and 27 volts, about five and a half meters a minute, and backed with Argo Shield Heavy. Uh, it seems to be the best combination of everything. So guys, so the weld procedure for putting the skin on the blade is a triple run double layer. So that's, that's your, your root pass, cap, cap. Pretty basic, pretty easy. So that's the weld procedure I've always used. It's never let me down. Uh, just a lot better than putting down one big fat slug. So three passes, seems to work out really well.
So the blade's been completely welded out. The only thing we need to do now is put on our end plates, just a bit of extra protection for the corners of the blade as that seems to be the first part that wears away. Uh, we've welded in our plugs. All the welds are carried out on every edge. We'll, we'll get these, these wing plates cut and welded on. Then we're gonna do some hard facing and the blade will be finished, ready to go back to the customer. All the welding for the skins is complete. We're going to do some hard facing now using the MIG. Uh, the wire we're going to use is Studi 965G. It's a very easy wire to apply. You do run the machine with reverse polarities. Um, all the settings are much the same, just comes out like a more of a spray, spray transfer. So where we're going to be hard facing is along the edge of the, the skin we've just put on, along the top of the weld there, just to protect the weld as it's the first thing that's going to be hit by rocks, gravel, stuff like that. So we want that weld to stay there. So if we hard face across the lip of that, it just gives it a bit more life and uh, less likely to wear out and start lifting the skin. So we're going to set the machine up and um, do some hard facing.
about a pattern we made up to the... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I send it out to the supply... Uh, send it out to the... Fuck. <laughs> so, that's why we... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. It's either that or do it under the machine. Under the machine's a pain in the ass. <laughs> do that again. Any other welding information? Yep. Righto, guys, so the... Oh, shouldn't say righto, guys. So we've done all the welding we need to do. Oh, actually. No, we haven't. We're going to do some hard facing. The wire I'm going to use is a... Um, start again. Right. Show you how we do it. 